watching 8 News Now at 6. We are continuing to bring you videos from that earthquake that hit Southern California this morning. You could uh, feel it right here in Southern Nevada, but it was much more powerful over in California. Some homeowners uh, having to clean up after items falling from their walls and shelves and even some cracks in the roads as well. We've been kind of talking. We've been in a few of those whoppers. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's pretty, uh, it can be jarring. Yeah, it's been a while, too. Let's check in again with Ted out at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. He's talking with experts there about today's earthquake and also has your fireworks forecast. Hey, Ted. Hey guys, what a jolt for the day today, huh? We did not expect Independence Day to kick off like this with a 6.4 magnitude earthquake uh, just north of Barstow. And of course, we felt the effects all the way out here. Let's bring in Dr. Uh, Josh Bondi again from the uh, Las Vegas Natural History Museum. What I like about down here is this is your seismograph exhibit here where everybody can actually see some of the, uh, the latest earthquakes we've had uh, all across, not only just here locally, but across the nation. Seeing that 6.4 quake that we had, does that surprise Surprise you because it's been a while since we've had something of this magnitude. Yeah, so even though it's been a while, it should come up no surprise. So, Alaska, California, and Nevada are one, two, and three for natural earthquake activity. Wow. So, this is something we should expect in just an earthquake active part of the country. Now, here's what's interesting, and I learned this too when I was in meteorology school is earthquakes, minor earthquakes, they're good to occur. We need those to occur, and that means it'll be a little safer, correct? Yeah, so the more of those low magnitude, moderate magnitude earthquakes, you want to see those because that tells you that some pressure is being relieved from the system. If you see a, a segment of a big fault that's been quiet for a long time, centuries even, that, that's not a good thing. Yeah, right. It's, sim it's, it's simply put, it's like a rubber band that's expanding even more, and it's, it's going to snap soon, the right. fault line, because there's tension that's actually caught. So, of course, uh, it's good to have these minor quakes and, and see this, of course. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what, what do you expect that, that can occur? Can we expect these next couple of days here after this, this big quake we had earlier? Right. So, days, weeks, and even months for a large magnitude earthquake, there's going to be constant aftershocks. So if you live even close to uh, Ridgecrest or that part of the Southern California, you're going to be feeling and experiencing wow. at least moderate-sized aftershocks for a while. Here in Southern Nevada, if there's a big aftershock, we probably have a good chance of feeling that too. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, Dr. Bondi, thank you so much. So we can, it's safe to say that we will continue to see some of these aftershocks still occur uh, even days after this event from earlier today. Okay.